are definitely pageant people. <laughs> we love pageants. They're just putting on a show. I already have a million trophies and I want more. Oh. Shake it, shake it out. I'm gonna do that. Good. Three songs. You don't own a pair of tennis shoes that are bigger than these. I don't want to start crying yet, you guys. You like this smile? <laughs> she does look grown up, but that's pageant. Hello, I'm Bill Curtis. Thick mascara, sequin laced costumes, and tons of hairspray. Five-year-old girls play the part of full-grown beauty queens. The 1996 murder of John Benet Ramsey brought these child beauty pageants into the public eye, and the result has been damaging. In this edition of Inside Story, we take you into the controversial world where over three million children, ranging in age from three months to 16 years, compete in the beauty circuit each year and the parents who drive them with an almost religious ferocity. With over 5,000 pageants to choose from, some mothers enter their children into two or three a month. People say Jenny Foster and her mother are obsessed with pageants. Go turn it off and do your treatment first and then try again because you're getting nowhere. What a build up, holy cow. They'd never believe it if my friends could see me now. I know you're tired, honey. Believe me, I'm tired too. Just one time. Five-year-old Lindsay Dean refuses to practice, and her mother's patience is running out. Turn around, sit down, cross your leg, cross your leg, cross your legs. Cross your leg. <laughs> oh, I know. What happened? Oh, bad foot. Okay, ready? Cross your leg. And then arms go. Ta-da! <laughs> woo <laughs> Five-year-old Brittany Ray loves the spotlight. Brittany, come here, please. Come on, you go back home. Can you hold it till after the photo? No. Her mom, TJ, sleeps two hours a night and works three jobs to support her pageant habit. There they are. People come to my house and the first thing they see usually are all the trophies up on the wall and it's like, where did all those come from? Next weekend, Brittany, Lindsay, and Jenny will all compete in a big national pageant. But for Jenny, who at 14 years old is the veteran of the group, next weekend isn't soon enough. These sweet little girls are competitors, slugging it out in the pink, frilly world of the pageant circuit. Each mother says she's just doing what her daughter wants. I already have a million trophies and I want more. But observers may feel otherwise. Ready? This weekend, Jenny is competing in the Hollywood Modeling Showcase pageant in Norwalk, California. It's barely 7 a.m., and Jenny's mom is, in the words of a pageant regular, grooming her daughter. It's not used for length, it's just used to, um, for fullness, because her hair is so thin. You want to sit at the edge of the bed? Huh? Okay. Thank you. 
and then it dries. And this, this glue is nasty. It's almost as bad as um, nail glue. And the same color. Almost, yeah. Jenny and her mom are known as pageant toppers, entering several dozen pageants a year. <laughs> we try to do at least one a month. This is the um, first one this month? No, this is the second one. What was the first one? Oh, else. okay. We'll have three this month. Four. Three. Royalty Miss. Oh, and Hawaiian Tropic. Hawaiian Tropic. She has one every weekend <laughs> in this month. I do pageants because they're a lot of fun, great way to meet new people, and I like to dress up a lot. And also, if you win a lot, build your conf confidence up a lot, too, and self-esteem. And I get money. They spend almost $20,000 a year on pageants, so every penny that Jenny wins goes right back into supporting her pageant habit. That's an extension. Don't curl it. I'm not. I just tweaked it. She's my best friend in the whole world. She looks to me. I help her with her clothes, her makeup. We act like two little best friends. See, so turn around. I think I could have done a better job. <laughs> this weekend, over 100 girls from three months to 16 years old will compete in categories like beauty, sportswear, and best smile. Parents will spend up to $1,000 per child to be here. Inexpensive by pageant standards. Okay, you need you need to turn in today before at noon. Donna Williams is the director of the Hollywood Showcase. Ever since time began, little girls have worn a lot of makeup. I think this is a feminine thing. This is keeping children feminine. They're in the right direction. They're here with their mothers, their fathers. They're they're just putting on a show. Five-year-old Caitlin Scott has spent her entire life on pageant runways, being coached by her mother Kim. I'm not, that's not the way it works. If you don't want to do it, you just get down. She's been in pageants since she's been about eight months. Caitlin, are you nervous? I don't want you to get upset, sweetie. You want to go out of the room and go to bed instead? Or you want to do the pageant? Okay, we can go to bed. I don't know. Okay, all right. Sometimes she just gets in those moods. She's like that sometimes. It's all right, that's her personality. Walking down the street, Though Jenny and Caitlin are obviously in different age categories, they will both be going for the coveted Super Supreme title, the overall award for all the age categories. It comes with a $500 cash prize. As the other girls dance, Jenny and her mom size up the competition. Next we have contestant number 10. to tape the boobs in. Jenny, I don't know how to get you out of this one. How did we do it before? <laughs> oh, cold the out. Oh. <laughs> this is a tape job. I need new outfits, mother. We know, sweetheart. It's one thing to have to tape your boobs up and have to tape them down. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> 